Okay, I'm not I'm not vlogging and driving. It doesn't count. It doesn't Lies. count until it, until it turns off. No. I'm my foot's off the gas. I'm not driving. I'm not vlogging and driving. It's impossible. And... I mean, it looks like a regular power shot when it's on narrow view. Mm -hmm. it doesn't look Move. as as curved. Words. So we got black eyed peas. We got some butter. We got some rice. We got some chicken base, green beans, and carrot. Not down here. Yeah. So oh, another thirty seconds. Shouldn't it be like liquidy though? You know. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. <laughs> you win at presentation. Come on. All right, now we gotta decorate. Now we gotta put the green beans on, then decorate it with joy. Nothing personal. Yes, it is. I have a lot of Poppin' John. Poppin' John. Yeah. Poppin' Hoppin' John. Hoppin' John. Poppin' Poppin' John. It's just called Hoppin' John. The presentation is stellar. If you want. No, I got it. I'm using a spoon. No. And there's my plate. Mmm. Having fun? <laughs> pinch of salt and pepper. Hold on, right? Oh, oh yeah, all right. Garbage. Oh. Just layer it on there, nice. Now we have, th we have this going already. So anticlimactic. That looks... <laughs> I know, it's so boring. Look at that. I enjoy the spot right here, but I wonder if there's a way to better light it, you know? Some dust. Oh, I'll show you where you were. Up here. Okay, what time is it? It's currently 9.26 p.m. We have Anna and Connie's adorable up there. The Congress. I have these, these lights up here now, and I'm not sure what to do with them. The problem with this angle is there's not really any light happening behind me. It's gonna light up the side of my face though, and not the entire frame. Now I'm in focus. Even I find it, isn't this battery still working? My battery's gonna die. Even I find it challenging to make sure I go to bed at 10 o'clock p.m. Because after I get home, I like wanna do things, and I get excited. And I think it's important to pay attention to what I get excited about, because <laughs> I wanna do, I wanna like do things. Right now I'm importing footage from the GoPro, and then I'll probably do footage from the... Uh-oh, I think I left it out in the main room. It's supposed to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow in the middle of March. Insane. That's insanely warm. So today is International Women's Day, and I just want to thank Hannah Witten for shouting out a really good friend of NFI, Zainab. She's gone from... 70 to over a thousand subscribers in a single single day and she's off the walls happy dancing about it and the whole nfi group is congratulating and it makes me think about youth leadership and and just how much we can benefit other people by just paying attention to what they're doing and valuing what they're doing and even on youtube with just discussing ideas and and spreading the word and shouting people out it reminds me of people that have done that for me in the past and just the share in the YouTube love, I guess, is what it feels like. But International Women's Day is much more than just YouTube. You know, it's about women's rights, and it's it's about people all over the world trying to trying to equalize that and taking opportunities to contribute and make things equal. It's it's challenging. I so I had this fortune cookie yesterday. I didn't I didn't bring it, but the fortune on it. I grabbed it at work. It was just a fortune cookie sitting on the work table. And it said, be prepared for extra energy. And I don't know what exactly that means in terms of what that was trying to tell me, but maybe I've internalized that and I'm seeing evidence of extra energy happening around me. Maybe it's just one of those self-fulfilling prophecy things. But I've just been commandeered to act in a random play. Uh, the thing with Zainab just happened through Hannah Witten and the people she shouted out. I just, I'm cooking more food. I just got invited to possibly go to a wedding and I'm going to a state conference in this month. So if there's more energy coming at me, 
right now, then that's probably an indication that maybe that fortune cookie slip woke me up to what's really going on. But I am feeling a fluctuation of things happening all at once. International Women's Day and the previous video I just made, I was thinking about the importance of soft skills. And I know soft skills like vulnerability, uh, things like life skills as compared to like science and math and heavy labor. I think soft skills are really important. I know people discount them because they're called soft skills. The label is kind of deceiving. But in FCCLA and youth leadership stuff I've done, it's been 80 to 85% women talking about life skills because it probably stems from home economics, from family and consumer sciences. But that's what's really important to me because that is a weakness that I, a weakness that I lean toward in developing because that's not a natural inclination for me. So to be on the edge of something that you're weak in and to excel in it is to probably tip the balance, get back into moderation. And at the end of this month for the state conference for FCCLA as an alumnus, I get to be on the panel to talk about the importance of family consumer sciences and what FCCLA has done for me and my, like, outside of the organization, how, what it's helped me with. And the list goes on and on for me on what it's helped me not, what it's helped me do, which is different and unexpected. And we shouldn't discount the soft skills as much as we want to focus on the hard skills because we're social animals. You know, we, we have to... I'm going to make a review on Leaders That Last soon, that book I read by Simon Sinek. We are social animals, and that's, that's how we operate. We operate together, trusting, cooperating, communicating. Those skills are really, really close and really, really important. All right, battery's probably going to die on the, on the microphone, so I better wrap this up. That's just been, that's been my, my main thought and my main focus, education, as you've seen before, and the importance of soft skills, the importance of developing things like vulnerability and communication and writing skills, reading skills. I don't like to label them as soft or hard because they all have a place. They all have an importance. Um, whether we're talking to a friend in conversation or we're actually doing math and working in a team, and all those things are important to me. I don't know why we just count them and call them hard and soft skills at all. They all have their place. So that's my thought for today. I'll probably throw some I probably threw some random footage in from cooking and in the car and establishing shots of everything. But that was my my main thought for you today, my little nugget as I sit here at nine thirty seven PM and attempt to get all this stuff up to catch up and then journal for half an hour. Yeah. Doing three to four things daily is not as easy as it sounds. Keeping you don't forget to be awesome. Get some good sleep. Sleep is important. 